Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back! Hey, look at Squirrel. Oh, you can't see him. There he is. Get him. I don't run from my car. Welcome back. Two days off. What's going on, my friends? We are back. We are just leaving work right now. I am just leaving work. You guys aren't with me. Well, kind of. Whatever. Anyway, just leaving work right now. It's about five after six. Uh, this weekend, we are going to finish up the brakes on Fuji. Finally. The brackets came in this week. Uh, been eyeing them up. A little busy last weekend. Uh, didn't quite get to them, but uh, we will get those on. The calipers are all painted. I have the uh, sliders and everything all ready to go. Pads are already, yeah, just got to install them. That's it. A quick little job, and then uh, we'll go test them out. Uh, tonight it's going to be pretty low key as usual. Um, got some photos and stuff to blast through from a drift day that I attended. I'm going to do a separate video, a little bonus video of the drift day. It's not going to be very long, but I'll show you some of the action. It's kind of cool. I've been shooting stuff on the Fujifilm quite a lot lately, and uh, it's kind of changing the, the way I'm thinking about photography and things, so you might like it. Anyway, I am going to go run and grab a quick little snack, and then uh, we're going to head straight home. So, see you in a little bit. All right. Well, as you can see, I kind of skipped over. I totally forgot to grab the GoPro, but um, we're swapping the brakes. The uh, single slider calipers are going and the small little vented rotors are going as well. So right now I'm just trying to get some penetrating while on the hub, hammer this thing off. Then the dust shield's got to come off and I've got to figure out this bracketry with the new, uh, new caliper and everything. I'm trying to get this done in like two hours so I can go to a uh, little car meet out in uh, Coquitlam. So, won't be talking much, just gonna be working. So, enjoy the time lapse. time to cut. So for the bracket to work, I've got a clearance, like it has to kind of sit like this, but down in the, obviously down in there. And then the bolts go through that way and then mount the bracket. So what I'm gonna have to do is clearance out the edge of the, uh, the backing plate all through here so that it can sit down flush. Um, so I'm gonna get my trusty out and uh, yeah, clearance this up. Hopefully, I don't uh, slice any fingers off or uh, hit the brake shoe. Wish me luck. looks all nice and pretty but the truth is this caliper doesn't work with the bracket I have to fit this rotor so all this was for nothing <sighs> this bracket isn't the right one it needs to be spaced up more the backing plates different like I don't know this is just all aft Whoever switched all this stuff before I had the car, if you're watching this, you're an idiot. <laughs> Why would you get rid of two pot calipers? 
Guys, I'm pretty dejected. I honestly don't want to continue with this tonight, so I'm going to shut it down early. We'll uh, pick this thing back up tomorrow morning. So, Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the morning. Well, this is a bunch of stuff that doesn't want to work together. <laughs> Morning, guys. Welcome back. Sorry for the uh, grumpy uh, exit last night. I was in a really bad mood after that. Uh, and all I did was basically drive around and pout it. So, not a good thing. Um, today, Kat and I have some stuff we gotta run around and do. So, uh, I won't be filming much uh, in the daytime, but later tonight, I uh, may go out to Harrison to see my dad for his birthday over in tomorrow night, um, we might go swimming and stuff, so. As for the brake situation, um, here's the lay of the land. The calipers fit with the stock rotors that are on the car right now. They don't fit with these 290 vented ones, um, 290 mil, sorry. I believe they'll fit with the 270 mil, just because the difference uh, between the contact on the caliper and the mounting bolt uh, isn't that far. It's literally like a quarter inch. So I think that is the makeup if I would go to 270 because the ones that are on there are Legacy H4s. Uh, sorry, Legacy Turbos. Um, and they are 266. So three mil difference is like... Basically, I, it's going to fit because it's impressive stuff is what I'm producing. Um, so I'm just checking part numbers for me right now. And uh, hopefully we'll get this all exchanged, get the right rotors. I still have to modify the backing plate to get them to fit. Uh, it's just a little bit more grinding and stuff, but we'll, we'll get that all figured out, so. Um, yeah, so not much going on today, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. Um, hopefully we can figure out some break stuff later. And then uh, continue on with our weekend. So uh, I'll pick this back up when we're doing something fun. But uh, for now, hang tight. Sorry if it's a little bit boring. Um, <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. but uh, just wanted to say uh, it's been a pretty decent night. Got to hang out with my parents and uh, 
really surprised my dad for his birthday, so. But, uh, it was a good evening. Um, honestly, not much going on in terms of car stuff and regular days off stuff, but, uh, this one's a little different. I was really not motivated to film much today. After the break fiasco, I kind of really just lost motivation to do much of anything as far as this weekend, so threw the stock brakes back on Fuji and uh, just called it good for now. Anyway, it's been a good day. I had a nice drive out here. You know, I got to bring Anna out. My mom's pretty happy to have her. And, uh, it was nice to hang out with my dad. Welcome him to him into his next uh, into his next year of life. He's had a, you know, he's had a bit of an arduous journey this last spring summer with his heart surgery and stuff. So. Anyway. Tomorrow, um, I don't know what we're getting into. We're gonna hang out here for a little while. Probably head home in the afternoon. Obviously, I gotta do chores, get ready for uh, work this uh, work this week. But um, we got a special event coming up this week, and uh, I'll tell you all about it at the end of the episode. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna finish my beer and uh, then I'm gonna hit the sack. So. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. I'll see you. Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking with me through the uh, the snooze fest that I gave you yesterday. Sorry about the lack of content. Um, Mom and Dad are busy right now. I think Mom's running around grabbing stuff for Dad's birthday. And uh, I think Dad's either sleeping or he's doing something work-wise with the pools at the park here. Um, they run an RV park, by the way, uh, out here in Harrison. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna go take you for a little cruise up a road that I basically grew up driving on. And uh, it's kind of funny. But I've, I've always had like a winding road, you know, right at my doorstep. And uh, this was the first one. I used to. I used to cruise this road all the time in my uh, 93 Ford Escort GT. Very momentum-based car, if you uh, if you can imagine. 145 horsepower, Ooh. if that. Anyway, I'm gonna have the Fuji with me. I'm gonna take some pictures and do a couple little nicer video clips for you. But uh, enjoy the ride. This is uh, this is a really fun road, and I'm not gonna do it too aggressive because uh, you know it is morning. This is a sleepy little town. Uh, well, I probably pissed everybody here off when I was a teenager anyway, so I probably shouldn't keep doing it. Alright, enjoy the ride.
continue Le Des Off. So, just waiting for some people to cross the street here with the kayak. All right. All right, I'm gonna lose the GoPro for a few minutes and I'll uh, see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Beans was looking pretty lethargic, so figured I'd let her get, out and get some air because it's probably hot in that car. Right? out the last 10 minutes to get home but Anna couldn't wait so I had to let her out for a minute. Just can't really do that to a dog leave her in the car the whole time it's not nice. Let's go home. Go to bed. Come on let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Just knows her spot. Come on. Good girl. Welcome back guys. So after a uh, day in Harrison, got home with Anna and did some yard work, took Kat out for some dinner because we're probably not going to see each other very much this week as I am heading to Road America on Thursday. I'm going to be checking out some 
racing, shooting for a couple people, and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. It's an exciting time. Uh, although I'm a little bit, a little bit worried right now because I am absolutely buried in editing and photos, and I have to get this episode out. So it's gonna be a squeaker. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm actually gonna have to wrap it up right now. Unfortunately, like it's starting to get dark. I still gotta do the lawn. Gotta do some cleanup, and of course through some more photos i gotta archive a bunch of stuff and make room on my laptop because my laptop is jam full the scratch discs are full my terabyte is almost full yeah running out of space might be time to just get a three terabyte or four or five whatever anyway guys unfortunately i'm sorry this episode was a little bit shorter it's probably a little bit more boring although i hope you enjoyed the scenery of harrison and uh, rockwell drive and everything anna playing in the pond it was a good day. It was nice. Um, yesterday, I slept half the day away and just, after the breaks, being a failure again, it was just like, you know what, I'm done. Just don't care. It'll get fixed when it gets fixed. I'm still driving the car. That's what matters. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please, please share this video with your friends. Uh, you know, subscribe to my channel, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on Facebook, all those fun things. I'm trying to do more like in between videos. I have a couple that are gonna come out. Um, just, you know, do a little bit more cinematic editing, just for fun. It's kinda, it's kinda neat. Take out the Fuji film and uh, yeah, just film random stuff and it kinda, kinda comes out cool and stylish, I like it. And the music can be a little bit different as well, which is kinda nice. Anyway guys, Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching and sharing and subscribing and doing all that stuff. I really appreciate all the support. I'm glad to call you guys my friends. That's gonna do it. So I will see you guys next week and we will be at Road America in Wisconsin. Thanks for tuning in. I'm really looking forward to the next one.